And Tobin Yaglan, what uh, would the uh, Nobel Committee uh, try to achieve by giving the prize to these three female candidates? To give much more attention to one of the big challenges we have in the world today, namely that violence against women and rape has become a tool in wars many places and that women has to play a much bigger role in peace processes and in peace building. Who will you characterize this year's decision by the committee? Uh, it is a very important signal to women all over the world to take uh, even more part in the struggle for peace. And also to the Arabic world? Yes, and it's a strong signal to the uh, entire Arabic, uh, Arab world that uh, one cannot set aside the women if you want to big, uh, build a democracy and to solve all the confl conflicts they have. There were more than 250 nominees this year. What was most difficult for the committee uh, before you ended up with these three female winners? Well, to exclude uh, many other good candidates. But we have come to the conclusion that this is the most important signal we can give this year. Which, uh, which criteria in Alfred Nobel's testament, his will, has been most relevant for the committee when you decided to give the prize to these three uh, women? Well, I, I would say all the three criteria. One is that uh, these two women in uh, Liberia, they contributed to resolving a conflict around the table, I mean, peacefully. Secondly, uh, they uh, has, uh, have contributed to building what Alfred Nobel called brotherhood between nations. And thirdly, they uh, have also contributed to one of the other criteria, namely to disarmament. Uh, this is a disarmament of violence, which is very equally important as the disarmament of weapons. Could this year's Nobel Peace Prize be compared to the one in 1976 when Betty Williams and Maury Corrigan from Northern Ireland received the prize? Yes, you can if, if you want. They, the, the women also there play a quite important role in the peace process, which uh, the Nobel Committee at the time pointed out. Are you convinced that all three winners will come to Oslo on December the 10th during, for the ceremony? Well, that we never know, but we hope so. You said on beforehand that you were sure that this year's decision by the committee would be met by recognition and enthusiasm from people all over the world. Are you quite sure that you are right? Yes, I am, uh, because this has been such an important uh, issue on the international agenda and also in the UN Security Council. And 10 million Swedish krona is the prize. That means that they will divide the prize, uh, the prize amount between these three uh, winners. Yes, in equal parts. Thank you, Mr. Jagland.